Hey guys, it's Ashton. And it's John. What up guys? We're back with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to... Best of Hitch Slap Part 2. This is from the channel Agaten Foundation. Go ahead and subscribe. If you guys like this, this was a suggestion for Rom. Jack Carol? Jack Sparrow? I don't know. Carol. I know. It's like e, though. C-E-R-R-O. I think it's Sparrow. Um, anyway, you guys can also help support us. Just keep the clear link down below in the description. If you guys donate $10, we'll even let you pick when the next videos react to. Keep it under 10 minutes. Include the video link title and your email, though. Can't stress the email part Do enough. Do not forget your email. Yes, and until January 1st, we're going to be posting these on our main channel first. And then later on, transferring them to our second channel. And we'll be doing that until January 1st. So keep that in mind, and let's get to this video. <laughs> That's a bitch slap, her too. <laughs> That's actually like what ran through my mind when I first looked at it. Bitch slap. Whereas to tell a child, you you go to this church, which means you'll go to heaven, but your little playmates don't go to that church, and therefore will go to hell, seems to me to be an unpleasant thing to be saying. But yes, I'm, that is. Maybe I'm in a minority. <laughs> he makes so a great it point. Be an unpleasant thing, but how do you develop? Actually, an evil thing. Let's, to be you, let's call it evil, only, Christopher. Something that only a religious person would dream of saying. Let's call it evil. Where does evil come from? Religion. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's why they call it his slap, because he is, like, pretty much just owning them. In your Quran, I certainly say, well, I, 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 I can't tell whether this book is the word of God or not. I can only doubt that there is such a thing. But I can hope that this was a bad day for God. Handed a small baby for the first time. Is it your first reaction to think beautiful almost perfect now? Please hand me the sharp stone for its genitalia that I may do the work of the Lord. No <laughs> It is uh, as the great um, as the great physicist Steven Weinberg has very aptly put it in the ordinary moral universe The good will do the best they can the worst will do the worst they can But if you want to make good people do wicked things you'll need religion Damn. Don't believe in the rest of it. Don't believe in the prophets. Don't believe in the mountaintop. Don't believe in the revelation. Well, nor should you. But how dare you suggest to us that we couldn't teach our children self-restraint and respect for others and the golden rule? How dare you? Damn. You've made the worst concession already. You've already said you're a slave. So. Well, absolutely. After I, that, I, after that. Mere, mere obedience to orders is a, is a small offense. I readily admit that I'm a slave. I'm a slave of uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm glad of your chains. Yeah. Well, uh, it's absolutely fine for you, but you must leave me out of it. I don't want to be told that I have to obey these laws too, or that my children have to be taught this in school, or that laws have to be written to ratify the the bizarre beliefs of a cult like yours. Well, but damn. I would need you to understand. You're you're quite sure. happy to believe this. Why can't you keep it to yourself? Uh, I'm, why can't you keep your atheism to yourself? Because the religious won't allow me to. Because every time I open the paper, there's another instance of theocratic encroachment on free society, which I won't put up with. Up with which I will not put. Well, that's clear. Staying in Africa, I think it will one day be admitted with shame that it might have been in error to say that AIDS is bad as a disease, very bad, but not quite as bad as condoms are bad, or not as immoral in the same way. Damn. I say it, I say it in the presence of His Grace, and I say it to His face. The preachings of His Church are responsible for the death and suffering and misery of millions of His brother and sister Africans. And He should apologize for it. He should show some, some shame. Wait, he's there? Fourth, for condemning my friend Stephen, Stephen Fry, for his nature, for saying, for saying you couldn't be a member of our church, you're born in sin. Damn. There's a revolting piece of casuistry that's sometimes offered on this point. Yeah, we hate the sin only. We, we love the sinner. Stephen is, I'm sorry to say, not quite like other girls. It's his nature. Actually, he is like other girls in that, in that he's, when I last checked, absolutely boy mad. Um, he's not being condemned for what he does, he's being condemned for what he is. You're a child made in the image of God. Oh, no, you're not. You're a faggot. And you can't join your church and you can't go to heaven. This is disgraceful. It's inhuman. 
it's obscene, and it comes from a clutch of hysterical, sinister virgins who've already betrayed their charge in the children of their own church. Damn. Well, no. are you assuming that we one, have free one, will? One, one, are, you, are you assuming oh, that we have free will? If you answer, if you ask, if you answer, then give me you, another. You another give me another a, source. You answer my question with another. Give question. me another. I'll still source. answer it. Okay. I will still answer it, Thank even you. though your question is an answer to mine, or rather not an answer, a response to mine. Yeah. Um, the view I take about free will is that, of course, we have free will because we have no choice but to have it. <laughs> I, I'm a, I'm a, no. I was, and that's, so I was, and to some extent, extent not an I answer. was, and I still, to some extent, am a dialectical materialist, and I also but think there are some, there are some ironies in the anyway. universe's worst in history. But to say, of course, we have free will. The boss says we've got it is to make a mock of the whole concept. <laughs> it's kind also of is, yeah. the question, what kind, what kind of tyranny is this that you want? You want an all-supervising, all-deciding person. I ask you first, what sources of information do you have about this person's existence that I don't have, that are denied to me? I'd like to know. And second, why do you want it? Why do you want to arrive at a terminus of unfreedom where there is a celestial authority upon whom all things depend and from which all things flow? Why do you want that, and how on earth do you know that there's any case to be made for its existence? No, I, I repeat, um, Jerry Falwell lived on uh, hatred and superstition and bigotry. He, he preached dislike of people whose lives he knew nothing about. He raised money from credulous so you fools. you don't know anything about his life? Now, excuse me, sir. You can either ask me on and have, uh, ask my opinion, or you may not. But I don't have to be here if you're going to take that attitude. Well, you, can you spent the first half by saying I had no right to the opinion you'd asked me on to express. Now you're tiring me out. I repeat that. No, what I said is your opinion was thoughtless. What you wrote was crude and mean and hateful. That's yes, and what I said. You took up all the time for my answer with your long, rather unlettered question. Oh, okay. Jerry Ford. I would posit to you, Christopher, that there is no fundamental difference between what the Israelites did to the Amalekites and their surrounding neighbors or enemies than what the United States did justly in going into Iraq, whether we did it principally for moral reasons. It certainly had a moral... Uh, can you possibly for one second be morally serious as a human being and say that? Well, yes, I can. We, we fulfill what, can we, we, what Iraqis did we exterminate? What Iraqis did we enslave? What Iraqi virgins did we keep for our soldiers? having killed the, the rest of their families. Well, what, what are you talking about, sir? But my children <laughs> have taught this stuff. No, sir, no ma'am, no day, no way, no shape, no form. You keep your illusion private. You want a regime like that to have nuclear weapons? You're welcome. But you should say that's what you don't mind. Are you going to say that? Are you going to say you've no objection? That the real problem is the Jewish state? Come on, be serious. So, so you Damn. So the Jewish state doesn't have nuclear weapons? Is that, is that what you're saying? Well, now, I appeal again to the fair-mindedness and intelligence of the audience. Did I say that? No, no but... Did I by any, in any way imply it? No, but... No. Did I not begin with a, a throat clearing, which I'll, I'll amplify if you will, <laughs> about my long record of work about this, my defense of the Israeli dissidents who published the news about Israel's illegal program and gone to jail for it. I can refer you to all that if you like. But my point was directed specifically to you. Yeah. I said, does okay. this, in your mind, make the destruction of human rights in Islamic countries okay or not? No. Good. Okay, no, let's, let's hear from Waleed. Well, that's progress of a kind. Right there. <laughs> and because I'd never like to miss out a chance to congratulate someone on being humorous, if only unintentionally, for, it's very touching for Tony to say that he recently went to a meeting that bridged a religious divide in Northern Ireland. Well, where does the religious divide come from? Makes me long for a newer, more cranky pope who's going to walk the, the walk the beat and swing the nightstick more. I, I mean, yeah. well, I I completely I completely second those who were just applauding. But unfortunately, it didn't break his heart when he found out. He knew that Cardinal Bernard Law was moving around uh, sadistic predators. <clears throat> concealing their activities from the police, which it was his job to disclose, uh, inflicting them on parishes where he knew they would uh, attack again, and covering up for them. This is one of the gravest crimes in the calendar. This is the sort of crime that would make an atheist fear he was going to go to hell. Mm -hmm. It's the one thing no one can tolerate. Now, Cardinal Law, uh, who should be facing trial in Boston, is instead a fugitive from justice in Rome, given a special sinecure 
and a, a, a place of refuge by His Holiness the Pope. He can't get out of that. That's wickedness. Mm -hmm. It's also, in my view, wickedness to say that condoms are more nasty and more dangerous than the AIDS virus, which was the Pope's official position. It's lucky for him that he isn't going to face uh, judgment, because if he did, he'd have a lot of people's deaths on his conscience, as well as the rape and torture of a lot of children. These are things I wouldn't want to have to go to my grave with, even if I was sure there was no afterlife. And no one will say this this week. It's well, all piety. It's all pope all the time. And what about when you say man of peace? This is the guy who invited Saddam Hussein's chief henchman to the Vatican a couple of weeks before Saddam was removed and fawned on him and called him a man of peace. That's Tariq Aziz, another wanted torturer and mass murderer. This is a pretty grim record. Well, Chris, you better hope so or you're going to hell if not. <laughs> well, uh, all, the most, all the most amusing people seem to be bound the same way. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> If you want diversity, as much as the professor does, as much as I'm sure many people here do, religious diversity, cultural diversity, um, what you need for it is this. You need a secular state with a godless constitution like this one. Damn. He just... I agree with, like, everything he's saying. Yeah. He, that is awesome, guys. It was a great compilation. That was Best of Hitch Slap Part 2. We had to see Part 1. Because he was owning people left and right. Just well, shutting them down to the point. What do you think about the whole condom and AIDS thing? Do you think I... Do you... Are you wondering if I thought it was funny or what? I guess. Well, yeah, sure. it was hilarious. <laughs> condom and AIDS, because they're both killing people. You know, aren't they just as bad in the long run, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's a good argument, for sure. Really um, anyway, guys, go make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel that posted that was... Did you do... I don't know how to pronounce it. It's A-G-A-T-A-N. I think it's Agatan Foundation. Yeah. So, I, I'm not sure exactly what's Ag it. Agatan? It could be Ag Agatan, yeah. It also Agatan could be. Agatan or Agatan? Yes. There's not you, though. Og. Og. So it's Ag. Aga. Agatan. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. Unless anyway, guys. Aga. Agatan. We, we have to see part one. I need to see him hitch slap some more people <laughs> on live television. Like, that one girl probably felt so dumb because when you're in the crowd and you're getting called up by the person who's, like, actually the, what's the word Superior, for it? This, well, in of. that setting, in yes, that because their voice yeah. holds more weight than yours. You know, you're just some person in the crowd. They're you're the just actual... You're person. He's the actual... He's what they're there for, yeah. you know? Um, so he and was do that. superior, I guess. But he just shut her down. She's like, ah, oh, this guy, yeah, you're right. At least she took the honorable way out. She didn't get all mad. And like red face and walk out though. Yeah. She took it like a champ, that's for sure. Like, like comment, share, and subscribe, guys, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Bye.